in this video, I'm going to show you how you can power your PoE camera over a long distance while using a PoE and VR. CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. If you're trying to run your PoE camera over 300 feet, you'll find out that you need a PoE extender. So in this video, we're going to be using these PoE extenders, the model PoE EXT02. We're going to use two of these to run beyond 400 feet. The next item you'll need is a PoE injector. I'm using here our 60 watt PoE injector. The model number on this is 1POE60W. The NVR we're using in this video is the Avalonix Premium Series 4 channel PoE NVR. It has its own four PoE ports on the back. Model number on this NVR is NVR044K. I won't be necessarily using the PoE output from the NVR, but I'll be connecting the PoE injector into the PoE ports on the back of the NVR, which can act as a data switch as well. And then the camera that I feature here in this video is the IPC4K15BMZ. This is one of our Avalonix Premium series of cameras, and it matches the NVR that we're using, which is also from the Avalonix Premium series. And then, of course, last is the cabling. I'm using two rows of, they're a little bit more than 200 feet of wire, just for this demo purposes. In this case, just for my demo purposes, I'm using a 200 feet of wire, but you could go up to 300 feet in each cable run that you have. Right now, most basic PoE camera systems, you have a camera connected with a Ethernet cable directly into the PoE port on the back of the NVR. In this case, this is a short wire for testing, but you can go up to about 200 to 300 feet maximum while using a CAT 5E or CAT 6 solid copper wire. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use our PoE extenders that basically allow you one PoE input in and two out, how you can use them in tandem, the two of them, together with a high wattage PoE injector to power it over several hundred feet of wire. Now what I've done is I've disconnected the camera that was first connected directly using this blue cable to the NVR. I disconnected it and in its place I put in this PoE injector, which is a 60 watt PoE injector. And then I connected my 200 feet of CAT 5E cable. And then I used my PoE extender. This is specifically made to be used with our 60 watt PoE injectors. On this PoE extender, there are a couple of inputs that you need to understand. In is where the power is coming in from your PoE injector, which is that white box on the PoE line. Then here is out if you want to relay this out to another PoE extender. And here you can connect to a camera. So I've connected this camera here. Now it's essentially running 200 some feet away from the NVR over the PoE injector through the extender in here. Now, if you don't have the extender and you run a long distance over 300 feet, the camera is not going to uh, have data connectivity. So that's why you need this extender and the PoE injector together. So now if you look at the video feed, I'm moving my hand and it's real time, almost. So here, my hand's right here. I move it now. So there's about a few milliseconds delay. And that's to be expected because when you run an IP camera or PoE camera over a long distance, you're going to have inherent delay, which is unavoidable with digital network-based security cameras such as this. So let's show, let's show you one more time. I'm going to say, now I move the camera in front. And that's the sort of delay you expect. Now in the next phase of this video, I'm going to show you when I put a second one of these PoE extenders on top of this configuration. So now what I've done is I've put into this configuration two PoE extenders and a PoE injector going back to the PoE NVR. So while that NVR has its own PoE ports, it's not really sending out any PoE because it's connected to the data in of my PoE injector. So that's only having data connectivity back to the NVR's local internal network switch. 
and then the PoE out on my 60 watt PoE injector is going over this 200 foot of Cat 5e wire and goes into the in on the first PoE extender. I know it's working because I can see the green and amber lights. Now on the out connection, this is to relay out to another extender. If you had another camera like I showed in the previous segment of this video, you would connect the camera here. So here I see green and amber lights. So green is for power, amber is for data. I'm seeing that go over another roll of 200 foot wire to the next PoE extender. And I can see the data and power lights working here both. And then in the camera section here, I connected my camera right there. So this is a PoE camera. It is a motorized zoom Avalonix premium series camera that we sell. Now, it's getting connectivity even though it's a motorized zoom camera. And I'm gonna show you how much delay you should expect now. So here's the video. And I'm gonna wave my hand now. So about the same amount of delay now. So that's the kind of delay you would expect. So if you're looking for a real-time solution, this is the closest to real-time you'll get with 4K or 2K or 1080p IP-based video camera systems or PoE cameras. Now, some people ask if you can add two cameras on here. You could over here, as long as the total power draw is not more than what this PoE injector can provide. But that's a variable that's calculated as a result of the kind of wire you're using in the middle and the length of the wire. If you're using copper clad aluminum wire, the power transmission is not as good. So that's why we always recommend using full solid copper Cat5 or Cat6 that we offer here at CCTV Camera World. Hopefully you found this video useful in understanding how you can actually set up a PoE camera over long distances using our PoE extenders, PoE injector, and a PoE NVR. And keep in mind, this doesn't need internet. If you look here, this is my internet connection connected to my switch. If I disconnect it, the camera stream is still working. Now, so you don't need any internet for this type of setup. You can set up a long range POE camera system this way by using the products that we offer here at CCTV Camera World. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.